Starting tomorrow, I'm no longer just a shipping clerk. I'm chairman of the board. And it's all because of Freaking.com. Like, no, if I lived here and I wanted to get to my property, would you arrest me? Would we arrest you if we're trying to get to the property? We would call the Colorado Springs Police Department. They would make the determination. Okay. When I'm outside the state and something interesting does happen, I will film it and I use it and put it on the Ridley Report. Well, that increases my hits and help, and that helps promote the free state. But even before I moved here, I found that you know back in 2003, I was able to have some sort of impact on the what was going to happen in New Hampshire just through the internet. Yeah, if you Google my name, I was Dada Orwell, Dada Orwell on Free State Project forums back in those days. You'll see the hundreds of posts that documented what I was doing from Texas. I just wish more folks would do that, especially the ones that actually feel like they need to leave at some point. Yeah, cost of living can be kind of high here. If your job doesn't match it, maybe you leave, work, you know, end up somewhere else. When you dig into a truck, it's almost as complicated as a Ridley vehicle. Uh, but I just wish more people would take like the, Rus the Russell Canning approach, you know, who's still active for New Hampshire Liberty wherever he is in his big rig, in his semi. You may not see a lot of the things he does, but he does quite a bit behind the scenes. So many folks just they, they think they have to be here, physically present, to do anything, and then so many other folks think that if they're going to come here, then they have to get arrested. Ringing, ringing, whoa. Which is, that, that statistically doesn't work. I mean, uh, it would be nice if we had some statistics run up on, you know, the number of free staters who've been arrested after they've moved to New Hampshire. And of course, you'll find that most of them who have have, done, have been arrested because they were out on a limb in some form or fashion. They weren't just sitting in their homes. Maybe they were completely within their rights and maybe doing something that was completely efficient, but still taking a risk. There's another beef that I have uh, with... Uh, things that sort of fail to happen that really should be happening more. Uh, it's almost like actually I shouldn't be I shouldn't be upset when free staters have a party because that's really awesome to, to make life fun for people in New Hampshire. But it seems like there's five parties for every piece of effective activism. I mean instead of Yes, at the beginning of a military campaign, maybe you move your military units to one another, using the military analogy for this peaceful struggle. You, know, you move your units to one another, and then you move out. But you do move out, right? You don't just hang out with your units all the time. You besiege the enemy, or you defend a strong point, or something like that. It seems like with free staters, who are really you know, the cream of the crop in the libertarian movement, it seems like it seems like 80% of the activism is focused on each other, instead of focused on doing something that will really inspire uh, excitement and support and sympathy from outside the state. Every time you besiege the government, you create that. Mr. Snipe, why is uh, reporting banned at your speech tonight? I do it by myself. I don't bring friends along. I just go to the nearest government meeting and ask questions while the bad guys are coming and going. That's something almost anyone could do by themselves if they wanted to, and yet I feel like I've got that to myself. On the other hand, there are a lot of behind-the-scenes things that people do that they don't get much credit for. Maybe people like me hog all the glory. And there's a lot of busy, well, not busy work, but difficult slog work that has to be done in order for my stuff to mean anything, the stuff I do. But, but again, I think the, the physical presence of individuals in New Hampshire really is secondary to the fact that that, that, that presence triggers this sort of worldwide excitement and interest. To me, that latter, especially if it contains action, constructive action, is really the important part. Because if it's in place, all the other pieces fall in place. My body! My property! You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keen's advantages are compelling. For details, visit freekeen.com.